Whoa. Breakup, separation, a heartbreak. Someone broke your heart, Sag. But they're coming in to rectify the situation. Someone's coming in. They're wanting to put in the work. They're wanting to work hard on this. They're wanting to invest into this, okay? You could definitely be dealing with someone who's a little immature compared to you. This person was probably procrastinating a lot in the past. But someone's coming in to heal this situation. They're coming in to want they're coming in wanting a reconciliation or that someone definitely wants a recovery here, okay? But there's someone coming in here. They're wanting to invest this time, okay? They're very serious, very loyal, wanting to um, commit to the situation. Not commitment, but wanting to offer you something stable, okay? Literally like a white flag, you know, raising a white flag, wanting a peaceful resolution. Something tangible, like a gift. Could be an apology, okay? But yeah, definitely a lot of heartache, heartbreak. Something's hurting badly. Tell me more. Tell me more about the Aquarius, please. And then last one. Say, this person's addicted to you, okay? This is a very toxic connection. This person could be very toxic. This person could have had a lot of codependency issues, a lot of fear, or they could have been in another toxic situation, okay? But the devil here with the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? So yeah, this person probably never really had the ambition or they lacked the goal and ambition to move towards you. Very stuck in stagnant energy, but now they're ready to come towards you. Slow and steady, but they are. They are. They're very obsessed with you. So they still have that addiction, okay? Unhealthy addiction, unhealthy obsession with you. They're coming in, but I like the way they're coming in with the Page of Pentacles, okay? At least it's not like something um, like... Uh, it's, the page of pentacles looks to me always like something very serious, you know, because that's a pentacle, right? Pentacle is something tangible, something sustainable, something stable, secure, all right? So, yeah, whatever's going to happen after your breakup, they're coming in, okay? Tell me more for Satch. What else? Who is who's coming towards Sagittarius and love this? It's a very obsessive connection. They're obsessed, you're obsessed, one of them is, okay? But something seems to be toxic. Either the person or the situation is very toxic. They literally cannot let you go. See, they're coming in to emotionally express how they feel here with the Knight of Cups here. This is definitely someone you've left out in the cold. Someone you've iced out. Someone you don't talk to. There's a separation. Again, like I said, right? A breakup or you could have completely ended things with this person. No communication. They're coming in towards you. With the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So not only are they going to come in and offer an apology to you, but they're going to be ready to open up. This is a love offer. This is could be this is commitment. But this is someone who's ready to I mean, this is someone very tactful this time, okay? They're going to deal with the situation with a lot of I mean, they literally got that sense into them and they're not, not gonna be as rash as they as they were in the past. They're releasing their toxic behavior and they're wanting to come towards you. This could be someone who is procrastinating this offer, okay? I'm getting a lot of procrastination. They were not sure, in two minds, etc. But yeah, someone who definitely didn't want to be vulnerable to you, who didn't want to be open, kept things to themselves. See, two of eight of swords. That's exactly what I said, right? This is someone who's releasing themselves uh, from this uh, situation. But I'm getting you, when they come in, you're going to be the one who's going to be in this eight of swords energy. You're going to be feel very stuck. It's almost for you like I'm getting like, you know what, for you probably with the three of swords here, you give up hope. For you, it was like, you know, over and done with. Because you knew that this was very toxic. But the moment you let them go, right, they're coming in. They're coming to their senses. <laughs> could be two. <coughs> could be two people, I'm sorry. But yeah, if this is two people, then one is wanting to feel, offer stability to you and one is offering love to you, okay? Take what resonates, but yeah. This is definitely someone who's wanting to send you an apology. I look at this as an apology and along with an apology, they're ready to open up. They're ready to tell you how they really, really, really feel. I think you're the one who views this as someone toxic, okay? And that's why you're stuck in your head with the Eight of Swords here. You don't know what to do about this. This person's going to shock you. See? Seven of Cups. It's going to get you confused because it could literally mean like, okay, till yesterday, I didn't know where, the, where I stand in this person's life. And today you want to commit to me. Today you want to, you say you love me. I mean, what the hell's going on? This is getting toxic as fuck, you know, even if they're not doing anything toxic, it's just your head that's driving you crazy. You're living in your head. Tell me more. Give me more messages for Sagittarius and love. They're coming in for 
ko siya ito. But that is all for. See? They want to work on this connection. In the past, they were probably lacking that commitment, lacking that effort, okay? Not ready to work on something, not being diligent enough, not working hard, or completely a one-sided situation. You probably did all the work and they let you do it only because you were. Now that you backed out, you let this person go. It's like a shocker I'm getting, okay? Because this person didn't expect you to let them go. But when they're coming back, it's going to put you in a spot of like, dude, I don't know what to do. Should I take them back? Should I not? Because there's this level of toxicity here, okay? For sure. With the devil here, that's a lot of attachment. This person's very attached to you in an unhealthy way. But they're coming in to build with you. They want to work with you, okay? Like, literally, it could be like, like you know what? Let's figure this shit out. Let's do this together. <clears throat> They've learned their lessons. Okay, I'm going to take this. Ace of Wands. See, a lot of passion. <coughs> That's a lot of passion here. This person is very passionate about you. They want a brand new beginning with you, a clean slate. Let's stop this from scratch. Let's forget what happened in the past and let's just move forward. You could even be with, I mean, I, I think the passion is there on both sides, okay? But they want to, it's literally like, let's let's have a clean canvas and let's restart this. They're very enthusiastic moving towards you, okay? They've got that. And there could have been a lot of false start between you guys, okay? Things could have started quickly, ending quickly. And they could, or there could have just been like a lot of road bumps between you guys before you guys came together, okay? And one of you gave up or one of you were like, you know, like, what the hell is this? Every single time you would have thought that this is now, it's going to happen correctly, okay? And it would just stop. This person would ghost you. They would just, you know, like not reply to you and give you a lot of mixed signals. This time they're wanting to make this happen. And along with the strength here, because these both came out together, this person has that belief, they have that inner strength, they have that courage, they're going to make that bold move towards you. They're coming towards you with a lot of strength. I'm literally getting someone who's like, you know what, hell bent on making things happen. The other way of looking at it is with the strength here, it could also mean that with the Eight of Swords and the strength here, right, you're holding back, you're resisting yourself from this person, but I'm, I'm getting that for a very few, few of you. I'm just getting this person's hell bent on making things happen. They're going to put in their all, their 100%, okay, on making it happen with you. Tell me more. The strength is belief, trust. They're going to try and tame the situation, okay? They're not going to give up. Very courageous and bold moves towards you. Tell me more, please. What else can Sagittarius expect in love for the week of November 2020? Damn! <laughs> five of Wands. Okay, Five of Wands looks to me like two things, okay? With the sun here. <coughs> the Five of Wands <coughs> is also strife. I feel you're going to be a little conflicted in your head, okay? You're going to be a little unsure. This person is going to, I mean, it's literally like for you, like to, till yesterday, I didn't know where I was in your life. And now today you're coming in with this brand new beginning and literally with that three of pentacles, like, you know, like, let's be, let's do this together kind of thing. You're very aware of this toxic person or the toxic situation. Okay. You know what this is. You've been through it. Okay. And it's given you a lot of pain in the past here. So I'm getting, you're not sure. Maybe this person probably, you know, you're not sure because this person, every time this person comes in, right, they not only come in with that love or emotions, but they also bring in that toxicity. They bring in that drama and chaos in your life, which are literally like, you know what, nah, I'm good on my own, you know, you guys are never on the same page, etc. right? But whatever happens with the sun here, I'm getting sad. Your aim is just to be happy. Dude, I just want to be happy. That's all I want. But when this person comes in, you know, it's like you're in like that, your comfort zone, not comfort zone. What's the word I'm looking for? You're okay on your own. You've healed from this situation. Probably you're okay on your own. You're doing your thing, etc. You're letting this person go. All of a sudden, this person shows up again. And now they want to offer you something stable. You're very aware of this uh, person's habit, their negative patterns, their fear, etc. Okay. But when they come in with that love offer, right? For you, it's like, I don't know, you know, but it's going to put, something's going to happen here when this person comes in and it's going to keep you stuck in your head. Literally, you're not going to be able to make a decision. 
This person is just going to trap you in your head. It's going to get you confused. You're going to be like, okay, you know what? Like not all over again. I'm literally, I'm, I'm feeling like what happened? What happened that you changed your mind? You know, why didn't this happen then? Why now kind of thing, you know? Because I feel that the strength here, it could also mean that you're holding back. You're resisting your feelings. You're trying to hold back from the situation. Because again, five of wands, you feel things are just not going to be on the same page. You guys are going to land up in the same cycle again, etc. Whatever, okay. But the, with the sun here ending, something's going to make you very happy, right? I mean, you're being optimistic. You're being very positive about this. But again, with the sun here, I'm not getting you wanting to be positive about this relationship. Your aim is, dude, you know what? I just want to be happy. I want to be okay on my own. And when you come in, you bring all this chaos with you, you know, and what's worse is you bring in the devil energy with you, okay, which is again, there's this level of toxicity, toxicity, which surrounds this entire dynamic. And that's something that is always like, you know, see, that's what I'm saying, but the devil comes in, the eight of swords came in. So when this person comes in, right, they do things like that, which gets you addicted, which gets you obsessed with them, and they leave you high and dry. Doesn't have to be the case with everyone, but I'm just picking up on a few things and your aim at the end is like clarity you're illuminated to some things okay you you have a realization you have an epiphany for, for some things i feel your kind of epiphany your kind of realization is more like which is putting you with the seven of pentacles here it's more like okay i'd say you're still invested let's say you're still invested into this okay i don't see you as walking away as yet even after the pain that has been caused I'm getting you're trying to heal yourself, okay? The moment you try to heal yourself, you're completely stopping. You stop thinking about this person and boom, that's when they come in. You know, it's like the devil knocks the door. And I'm literally getting like, do you really want to open the door? Because I'm feeling you're still contemplating the entire idea, re-evaluating the idea, or you will be when this person comes in. You're very close to the Ten of Pentacles. For sure, you are. You're already at the seven year. But again, it's that those extra three pentacles you know that you need to put in where you're like hmm is this going to be worth it is it going to come into fruition is it going to be a waste of time is it going to be the same disappointing situation as before etc because your aim again is just to be happy stay away from any kind of drama and be in that positive light okay you could be vibrating at a very high level right now and probably that's one of the reasons why you're attracting this person back okay with that devil energy maybe you've done your you've done your uh you've learned your lessons probably this person hasn't okay so when this person comes in i'm not saying this is someone bad i'm not saying they're evil i'm just saying that when this person comes in see to it that you do your homework you do your research and think 10 times before you let this person back into your life because you're doing good right now you're doing good because this person comes back and they mess with your head think 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 before you let them in okay they're coming in towards you. They want to take action towards you. They're freezing on you, okay? Freezing as in they're zoned in on you. They want you. They're very decisive now. Look at this, Ten of Pentacles. You even have the Ace of Cups here. They're coming in. They want stability with you, okay? But again, <clears throat> think a lot of times before you let this person in, okay? Because if this is the kind of headspace they're going to put you in, I don't know if it's worth it. All right, so think about that. Five of Wands, that's drama, chaos, or you just having a lot of internal conflicts, okay, but whether you want this person back or not, regardless. Something's going to make you very happy. So, yep, that's, that's your reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.